the three fundamental economic problems or principles. Hello, welcome to Matecon TV, uh, your economics trusted source. We will be delving into the three fundamental economic uh, problems, but this should happen just in a bit. into the three fundamental economics pro- economic problems. And these include basically one, scarcity, two, choice, three, opportunity, cost. Let's look at one at a time. And we will start with scarcity. Look at the illustration there. We have basically it's a balance with the two arms. One arm having resources and the other um, having the need, call them wants. When you look at the size of the resources, they are basically meager, small size, well as the uh, needs, wants are very many and so, so heavy, heavier than the resources. So what is this thing, scarcity? What is scarcity? Scarcity refers to the limited supply of economic resources in relation to people's needs or wants. Now, in the reality, the resources that we have, the resources that are at the disposal of human beings are way less than the needs. Human needs are endless. Human wants are endless. You know, let's look at that in our daily life. There is a scarcity of, basically, the two aspects. One being money. Mm, Money. I am sure you are basically studying these aspects to look for more or to be able to acquire more money, either directly or indirectly. But also, there are individuals we know world over. These are, you know, the richest guys, the most wealthy guys in the world, like Jeff Bezos. Uh, the Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Jack Ma, etc. These are the wealthiest. But if you also made research, you find the fact that they are the most hardworking individuals. They work hard even when they have the money, when they have a lot of money already, but they still consider to work hard. Basically because they believe that money is still not enough. It is scarce. Then the other aspect you and I are affected uh, by is time, time, mm? time for sleep, time for work, mm? time for having fun, time for enjoying leisure, time for hanging up with, hanging out with friends and etc. This time is limited in supply, actually to the extent that we even leave the world before we are satisfied that we are supposed to go. I'm talking about dying. Mm. So, what about in the production process? In the production process, there is also scarcity. Scarcity of more especially the factors of production. Factors of production, land, trained labor. Yeah, labor is there, but trained labor. Trained labor. Labor with the required skills in the production process. Trained entrepreneurs. Individuals that have the required skills to organize factors of pro- production. The other one we have limited capital. There is limited capital. To any firm, they will tell you we do not have capital. We, we have, we lack funds, but if we, uh, we, we lack extra funds to create this. We lack extra fund to improve on this. ETC, these are resources which are scarce. And because of these scarce resources, there is yet another principle. Call it a problem that arises. And that is that is the problem of choice. Look at that gentleman in the illustration, in the diagram there. The diagram, he is, yes, confused is he confused? He looks like he's undecided. He's not sure whether to take the right or the left or to continue with the yellow arrow. But that, the decision he is about to make is what we will call choice. So what is choice? What is choice? What is choice? 
And then the, the definition of choice I am giving or we are having here is choice is the making of the best decision out of the available alternatives. For example, in the previous uh, in the previous diagram, this is the guy supposed to continue with the arrow, arrow, or the left or the right. Which one should he continue with? That is, he has to make choice. He has to choose to make one uh, to, to choose on one direction out of the alternatives. There are three, but he has to follow only one because of the limited uh, alternatives in terms of resources. And we are saying because of scarcity of resources, money must make a scale of preference. And this scale of preference is supposed to help him in the process of making decisions. And what is then scale of preference? In the note here, we have a scale of preference is a list of wants arranged, starting with the most pressing needs and ending with the least pressing wants. Uh, to a student, let's talk of a given list of things he may, he may want to purchase or he may want to buy. One, books. Two, gaming materials three maybe uh, a trip an academic trip four hmm, buying a car etc out of those four i have mentioned above there is what is most pressing what is most pressing on the side of the the student and this should be ideally the reading or the books, the reading material, the books in this case. So, scale of preference, we are calling it a list of wants arranged, starting with the most pressing needs and ending with the least pressing wants. So, the other concept which is of course a resultant, is as a result of the previous two concepts, and that is the opportunity cost. What is opportunity cost? And the definition there is the alternative foregone when choice is made. When this student chooses to buy books, he is foregoing the car. He is foregoing buying the gaming materials he's foregoing etc all of these become the opportunity cost opportunity cost is also known as trade off cost alternative cost or real cost that's those are the other names we can allocate to opportunity cost and opportunity cost we are saying is as a result of the First two problems, scarcity and choice. There is an example here we can speak to. An example, Ethan is faced with a situation, either to go for a party on a Saturday evening or for an economics examination scheduled on the same evening at campus. He is probably a campuser. Ethan has to make a decision. What do you think Ethan should go for? <laughs> Consider putting the answer in the comment section before you proceed, uh, such that we can speak in line with that answer. Now that you're done, let's look at the possible answers. Ethan choosing a party. Assuming Ethan is saying, no, I'm not going for the, for the examination, I'm going for a party. It means that economics examination is the opportunity cost. Why is it so? Because he is choosing to forego the economics examination and going to party with the friends. But what about Ethan choosing an examination? Ethan choosing an examination means the party is the opportunity cost. Why? Because he is choosing to leave, to forego, the party 
but go for the economics examination. Hey, either way, there is an opportunity cost. He's making a decision out of the limited resources. In this case, time. Time is not possible. It's not possible that he can attend both at a time. He has to attend either. So limited time. Then out of that, he makes a decision, which is the second economic problem. And that is choice. After making choice, he has to let other option, the other option go. And in this case, that is making an opportunity cost. That is it. We come to the end of this today's episode. And just in case you were new, a newcomer to this channel, consider subscribing such that you may be able to suggest this content for the other individuals all world over, but also to encourage us. Encourage us keep doing more and more videos on such a content and more content related to economics. Thank you for watching this video until we meet again. Consider subscribing and also put a comment. Put a comment about what you want us to work upon the aspects, the concepts, the topics you would want us to discuss. And we will be so glad to receive your feedback. Thank you. Until we meet again.